Are you testing a wire or testing the insulation around it? This simple question holds the key to understanding the critical difference between two of the most important electrical tests every electrician, technician, and engineer should know, the continuity test and the mega test. These two tests might sound similar or even be confused by beginners, but they serve completely different purposes in the world of electrical diagnostics and safety. Let's break it down clearly. A continuity test is primarily used to determine whether an electrical path is complete and unbroken. That is, whether electricity can flow smoothly from one point to another. It's the go-to method when you're troubleshooting a circuit, checking for broken wires, open switches, damaged fuses, or loose connections. This test is performed using a digital multimeter set to continuity mode. Once connected to both ends of a wire or component, the multimeter sends a very small current through the circuit. If the path is continuous, the multimeter either beeps or displays near zero resistance, ohms, usually somewhere around zero to one ohm. If there's a break or high resistance, there's no beep, and that means there's a problem in the connection. It's a low voltage, quick, and extremely useful test that every technician should master, especially when working with control panels, outlets, switches, and everyday wiring systems. Now let's talk about the mega test, also called an insulation resistance test. This test does something completely different. It evaluates the quality and integrity of the insulation material surrounding conductors. Good insulation prevents current from leaking or arcing between conductors or to the ground, which is crucial for both safety and system performance. Over time, heat, moisture, aging, and mechanical damage can degrade insulation, increasing the risk of leakage currents, short circuits, and electrical fires. That's where the MEGA test comes in. Unlike the low voltage continuity test, the MEGA applies a high DC voltage, often ranging from 250 volts to as much as 1000 volts or more across the insulation and measures the resistance to current flow. The readings are displayed in mega ohms, mR. The higher the value, the better the insulation. For example, anything above one more is usually considered acceptable, though this can vary by industry and standards. A reading below that may signal deteriorated insulation, trapped moisture, or contamination. One important rule of thumb, never perform a mega test on live or energized equipment. Doing so can not only damage the equipment, but can also be dangerous to the person conducting the test. Always ensure the system is de-energized and properly discharged before starting. So, to sum it all up, a continuity test checks if there's a physical, complete connection allowing current to flow using low voltage and giving a simple beep or near zero reading. A mega test checks the quality of insulation using high voltage and gives a resistance value in mega ohms. Higher is better. Both tests are essential, but they serve different purposes and should be applied in the right contexts. Whether you're diagnosing a motor, checking a cable, or doing preventive maintenance on industrial equipment, knowing when to use each test could save you time, prevent accidents, and maintain a higher standard of electrical safety and professionalism. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content on electrical testing and tools, and leave your questions in the comments below. I make sure to reply to everyone and help out where I can stay safe, stay smart, and keep testing like a pro.